guys, Black Scout, Survival Late Night Live. Welcome back. Let's get into the news this week. Sorry we didn't have a lot of last night. We had some electrical issues, so uh, we're back up and running now. But anyway, big news um, we'll cover first. Joe Biden, puppet in chief. Um, it actually came out that he's involved in some kind of bribery scandal allegations. Um, a Republican senator from uh, Iowa Chuck Grassley alleged on the Senate floor Monday, and I'm going to show a clip of his video in a moment, that a foreign national whom Joe Biden is accused of striking a bribery deal with has 17 audio recordings of conversations with Joe and Hunter. So apparently he was paid $5 million um, by a high-level Burisma executive as part of a bribery scheme. And you remember, if you go back, People were saying this and they're like, you're a conspiracy theorist. And again, a conspiracy theorist is just someone who knows the truth six months before it comes out. Okay. So there's also an allegation, not only just about the phone calls and recordings, but there's also a human source. Okay. So U.S. attorney reviewed the allegations against the Biden's when they were first made in 2020, back whenever all the buzz was happening. But law enforcement officials found the claims were unsubstantiated. Uh, go figure, the DOJ's, DOJ's uh, uh, Marxist Gestapo, right? So Hunter Biden's time as the board member with the Ukrainian oil company Burisma Holdings, there came out to be an unclassified form FD-1023 that accuses two unnamed Biden family members of setting $10 million bribe to oust former Ukrainian prosecutor Victor Shokin <clears throat> in 2016, um, who had previously launched an invas investigation against, guess who? Burisma. Okay. So let me let me show you the clip real quick from the uh, Senate floor. I'll let you hear that real Three quick. produced to the House committee's redacted reference that the foreign national who allegedly bribed Joe and Hunter Biden allegedly has audio recordings of his conversation with them. 17 such recordings. According to the 1023, the foreign national possesses 15 audio recordings of phone calls between him and Hunter Biden. According to the 1023, the foreign national possesses two audio recordings of phone calls between him and then Vice President Joe Biden. These recordings were allegedly kept as a sort of insurance policy for the foreign national in case that he got into a tight spot. The 1023 produced. All right. So, yeah, you heard it yourself. So I got a serious question for you, though. Um, do you trust who do you trust more? the World Health Organization, or a dog dressed as a doctor? Please leave a comment and let me know who do you trust more. And uh, coming, we're taking a swerve into the medical field because John Hopkins, the leadership in medicine, that came out with the LGBTQ glossary. And, and it's very interesting here because I'm, I'm going to read it to you. A lesbian, sexual orientation, a non-man attracted to a non-men, to non-men. While past definitions refer to lesbian as a woman who is emotionally, romantically, and or sexually attracted to other women, this updated definition includes non-binary people who may identify with the label. And then gay, gay man, a man who is emotionally, romantically, sexually, affectionately, or relationally attracted to other men, or who identifies as a member of the gay community. At times, gay is used to refer to all people regardless of gender who have their primary sexual and or romantic attractions to people of the same gender. Gay is an adjective, not a noun. He is a gay man. So what we get from this is that you're either a man or a non-man. Uh, so um, feminism is dead. Okay. And that's coming from the, 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 the medical geniuses of their John Hopkins University. So either you're a man or a non-man. Um, anyway, I, yeah, I don't trust medical professionals anymore. And uh, do we have any, any, any people living in California? Raise your hand. I'm just curious. Um, if, if you, two questions, one, if you're living there, why? 
I'd like to know. And and the second is, how do you feel about this? California to become the first state to set electricity bills based on people's income. So not the electricity used based on how much money you make. This is this is what you call socialism. Welcome, California. You're now in, in I mean, you've been in socialism, but you're, you're, you're almost full steam and forward to communism. So you're going to be paying more money because you, you worked harder and made more money. Congratulations. That's a good prize, right? Anyway, another thing is, is that, did you see Gavin Grusom? He, he gave Don some props. He said, we actually had an incredible relationship during COVID and it was incredible. It was incredible. He played no politics during COVID with California. Yeah. He, 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 he's, he, he's backing Donald Trump for his presidency. Right. So uh, let's move on into the, the meat of tonight's video. Let's start off with build a bear. Does, it, does anybody got any kids that love build a bear out there? Because this is what, this is what they got going on this month. It's odd, right? Kids shouldn't be, kids shouldn't be sleeping with people. Um, yeah, so, so we, weird thing there, you know, this has been a big deal. The, the white house. Okay. During, you know, various holidays, they do certain things like you remember Easter, uh, they didn't do anything. Um, veterans day. No, they didn't do anything Christmas, but what we have at pride month, we've got the the pride flag front and center so this is the tweet from joe biden today the people's house your house sends a clear message to the country and the world america is a nation of pride wow there, there you go guys so today is the people's house. Who, what people's house? That's not my flag. <laughs> that ain't my flag, you know. So so during the this this pride event, which is the largest pride event held in, in White House history, those set of flags were displayed, and you saw the pride flag was uh, had two American flags on each side of it. So the pride flag was the main center focus, um, and and that actually violates flag code um the, the basic tenet of flag code where um american flag should be the dominant flag it should be front and center and and that was actually a disgrace to every fallen service member that was buried underneath that flag it's a sad day and uh just to show you flag codes in case you didn't know no other flag or pennant should be placed above if on the same level to the right of the flag of the United States of America, except during church services conducted by naval chaplains at sea, where when the church pennant may be flown above the flag during the church services for personnel of the Navy, no person shall display the flag of the United Nations or any other national or international flag equal above or in the position of superior prominence or honor to or in place of the flag of the United States at any place within the United States or the territory or possession thereof. So our flag code basically says that it should be in always in the dominant position. Um, this tells you all you need to know about Biden or his handlers. The, I mean, he's a, he's a puppet, but where we're trying, where they're trying to manipulate our country to go, you know, and, and then we got to walk around on stage, waving one around. Oh, sorry. That's not Biden. Um, so, you know, I watched a bit of, the Andrew Tate in a PBD podcast today, he did a, a long interview. I didn't sit and watch all of it, but he, but he, he said something pretty, pretty, I, I'd, I'd agree with, um, pretty profound statement. He, he said, you know, a lot of people call America a Christian nation, <clears throat> but he's like, is it, they mock Jesus Christ. They'll, they'll dress him up in rainbows. They'll, do all kinds of heinous things to, you know, uh, and not Jesus Christ himself, but, you know, cartoons or what have you, they'll make memes, but, and, and then that's promoted It's promoted by social media, Joe Biden, anti-Christian ideals are promoted. And he, and he said, would they do that in Saudi Arabia with Islam? 
you know, so it, it, it's, it's, it's crazy because a lot of times you, you know, you hear founding fathers were Christians and you talk about America's a Christian nation, but is it, but is it really, you know, we live in a, a, a constitutional Republic and I get it. We're all different. I get that, you know, and also get that I'm very rigid, original in my beliefs. I believe that all morality comes from God. I don't think man makes morality. Um, but you, you have to understand where I'm coming from. You know, we, we, we go from just, oh, we just want to get married to now a grown man in a thong twerking in front of children. And, you know, it's, it's like, no, 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 no dog. You, you cross the line. Um, my other thing is, is that if your identity comes from who you're sleeping with, then you live a really unfulfilled, boring life. If that's what, I mean, that'd be like me walking around talking about, yeah, steak eater, steak eater here. You know what I mean? Who cares? I don't want to hear about it. I don't care what you eat. But, you know, I don't want to hear about your sexual fetishes on a daily basis. I don't want that in my face. Have, have you ever met a CrossFitter? Maybe some of you guys do CrossFit out there. But if you ever met a CrossFitter, you'll know they do CrossFit within the first three sentences. I'm not even kidding. I was at a, me and my wife was at a Christmas party, maybe, uh, I think, six or seven years ago. We get there, meet this lady, and literally the third sentence out of her mouth is, yeah, I do CrossFit. Oh, oh really? Okay. Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu guys do that too. CrossFit and Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu, you usually find out within the first couple minutes of conversation they are CrossFit or Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu. Um, usually they'll wear a shirt with it. They'll row fitness or Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu. You'll hear that out of the gate, you know. But I'm, I'm kidding. But the thing is, is that, you know, it's, it's in our face. I mean, you've just seen freaking Build-A-Bear. I mean, it's everywhere you turn. It's on the freaking White House. That doesn't represent me, man. That don't represent nothing I believe in. And you got it front and center of the White House. What was the Marine Corps flag on a uh, Marine Corps birthday? You, you know what I mean? The Army's birthday. The Navy's birthday. Where, where's that flag? You know what I mean? You get one day for Memorial Day. You get one day for Veterans Day. Whole month for who you take to bed. You know, it, it's wild. And then walking around with, you know, whatever you're into and you're all over, all over, that's like your identity. Like you have no other talking points. This is it. And then I saw this. This, this, this really pissed me off right here. This is Sarasota, Florida. City Hall. The City Hall. They got the the pride flag and i know this is a variation of it but right there in line with the pow mia flag prisoner of war or missing an action and it's even a, a tad higher than it right this is unbelievable prisoners of war missing an action like like this is even on the same level you know, I, I'm telling you, man, like, I mean, we, we sell these shirts. We have some in stock. So if you want to get one and this is one of my favorite shirts, you know, I mean, just to, to celebrate these guys. And I see guys wearing, you know, the, like bikers will have it on their patches on their, you know, like such, I guess, lack of observation of, of these guys, you know, just in general in, in America anyway. But to have that with, with this, it, it, it's sickening, man. It's sickening, you know? But, and then he's walking around on, on stage. <laughs> no, it's not Biden, sorry. But it's disturbing, guys. So talking about going woke. Now, somebody sent me this. So I, I did not verify, and I'm going to tell you why. So someone sent me this and um, it's from a tro uh, a stock trading website and I don't have an account and I did not want to pay for it um, to, to, but I mean, it looks official to me. It looks undoctored. Okay. Um, but it says black rifle coffee. This is from business wire on June 5th, black rifle coffee brew brews, a strong partnership with Gl glad to support L GBTQ Acceptance since Pride Month. Salt Lake City, June 5th, 2023, BRC, New York Stock Exchange, BRCC. America's leading veteran owned and operated coffee company is proud to announce its partnership with GLAAD to demonstrate its robust support to the LGBTQ community during this year's Pride Month through this partnership. 
BRCC underscores this commitment to fostering a diverse, inclusive environment that respects and celebrates all identities through the collaboration aligns with the company's belief that the strength of the community lies in diversity and recognition of every individual's rights. So again, if, if any of you guys got a uh, an account to Business Wire, do me a favor and please just go on there and check this and verify this for me and then let us know in the comments because I, I don't want to say because I couldn't pull it myself. So, you know, I, I'm the type of guy like I, I'm not going to just going to throw just absolute shade on, on someone without getting it directly for myself. But I'm showing you what I got sent. And um, but if you have an account with Business Wire, if you're into stock trading and stuff and you can check that and verify that, please let us know in the comments all, all the uh, tribe members and and guys in here guys and girls want to would like to know so if you could do that um please please go do that and let us know but uh, again you know like the thing is like i'm not sitting here like walking around you know pushing my ideologies on people man like it's okay to be vocal but it's another thing to try to try to push ideals on the people you know what i mean and uh especially children like, like the thing is, is like every time an event would happen and they would outlaw children coming, then they'd cancel it. Like, we're not dumb, you know, and, and then we have this, a nation is, this is, this fl flag is flying front center of the, of the White House with the American flag, like in, in the, in the, the secondary submissive position, you know, and then you have the POW MIA flag. Like, you know, it's how, how they're working this thing. And I said this back during the George Floyd days. I noticed it then, okay, when when the George Floyd riots happened, BLM took the streets, and you notice there was tons of pride flags out there. And I did a video on this, and I, I said, why is there so many pride flags involved with the BLM stuff? But it's because of this, because they're packaging it all together. Because no one, I mean, there's probably a few guys out there are like, outspoken racist but for the most part everyone is against racism right you could have some some psychopath somewhere but most everyone's against racism so if you bundle it all up and i've said this over and over again that you bundle up blm with G lgbt then it's like you bundle it together so if you if you say something about lgbt movement you're a bigot right and so now it's all the children also, if you say something about, you know, kids can't be there to see um, Danny, the 40-year-old, twerking in front of a, a child in thongs, and you're a bigot, right? So that's how they're trying to do this. And this is the way, this is the rules for radicals. If you ever read that book, this is the tactics they use. I'm only telling you this because, so you're aware of it, why they're doing this stuff. And if somebody calls you a bigot, if somebody calls you anything, just say you don't care. You don't care what they call you because at the end of the day, America is, is, a, is a, about a lot of things, right? It's, it's about freedom. It's about liberty, right? It's not about who somebody's freaking sleeping with. Anyhow, guys, I want to know your thoughts in the comment section below. And uh, please, if you got a, if you got that website, please let us know. And uh, if you do, maybe screenshot the whole article, send it to me, push through life. Thank you, sir, for your uh, gift. And also, man, um, Barry, uh, one of the subscribers, sent me some cigars, some very nice cigars. I do appreciate it, Barry. Um, you're the man. I do enjoy a nice cigar. Um, <laughs> ripple effects to their pedos. Yuri was right. Yuri Besimov continues to be right. And if you don't know who that is, Go Google and catch up. Anyhow, guys, as always, thanks for watching. Let me know all your thoughts in the comment section below. Help me fight the algorithm. So please comment, like, share, all those things. If you can share, if they still allow my videos to be shared. Anyhow, stay frosty, stay strapped, and always stay dangerous. Take care.